Namaste. I am Sri Ramka. And I am Kira Ra. And welcome, beloved ones, to the July Revelations and Ascension Energy Forecast for 2017. We are delighted to be with you. And just by way of recap, we've been transiting through a very powerful <laughs> period. <laughs> you know that already, right? You're like, tell us something we don't know. <laughs> well, it's important to get a context once again of the four-month process that we have been enjoying together. Yeah. And this all began in April. And April, May, June, and now July. July. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and in July, we're gathering the gifts of the prior period to transit through you might call it a peripheral energy, and we have a drawing to show you about that. We do, but before we go there, let's let's just take a quick recap, because you really want to be in flow with this. If you have not listened to our April, May, and <clears throat> June videos, or even if you have, this is going to be a month where you want to go back and really look at all of that again. Remember, this opened up in April as the energy of the four, the fourth month of April, by four. April, May, June, July. Now remember, and, and we used the um, last month. This is going to look familiar. This is from last month. And you'll notice we remembered that we really define this time as kind of a storm. Meaning that, uh, remember as we described, a storm, S-T-O-R-M, is an opportunity to see the oneness reclaiming or remembering mastery. And so it's been a very powerful time. And this storm energy has been the overarching energy. And certainly you've experienced that in many different ways. And, and again, go back and watch the April, May, and June Revelation videos. And it'll really help you bring all that together. But the key has been May and June. May and June were the center of the storm. And we wrote quite a few articles. We did a lot of radio shows about that. And if you go to uh, SriAndKira.com, you can find all those articles in the blog area. If you go to SriAndKiraRadio.com, you can listen to all of the shows where we've talked about this center of the storm. Now, the center of the storm is a profound metaphor for coming into the center of your divine connection. Yes. The center of our divine connection is anchored at the heart and then lifts up for uh, the communion. And so when we're able to cultivate the capacity to reside in that trust, in that heart-centered space, the area around us quiets. Yeah. The area around us becomes calmer and uh, gratitude is easier to receive, to feel, and to condition the space. So just as in a cyclone, there is a calm center and all of the activity is on the buffer zone yeah. of the store. <laughs> it's the same in our spiritual path. Uh -huh. We have that calm center. Now, what we've been given in this four by four energy is the opportunity to practice that as a, as a collective of humanity awakening, that we have had the opportunity to have a relatively quiet, uh, May and well, I'm jumping in. I'm jumping Relatively. in because a lot of you are saying bullshit. <laughs> and so I'm not agreeing with that one, Sri. <laughs> well, let's just say that in the grander scheme of things, there's plenty right, of opportunity right. for chaos and more to come. But this particular period of time has been an opportunity to practice and claim, and it's not too late. Yeah, and that's the key. It's been the opportunity to practice and claim and to remember that when you're in the center of the storm, you're in control. The storm is not controlling you. It doesn't mean, and, and I'm not in disagreement with, with what my beloved has shared, what I'm, what I'm questioning is that for some of you, you have not had that experience. And I don't want you sitting there saying, wait a minute, my experience during May and June has been yeah, anything yeah. but the center or the quiet center. The key is you've been in the quiet center regardless of your experience. And, and that's what we were trying to show because when we hit June, right? That was an apex moment. It was the apex moment of the four by four. Now, the reason that we're showing you this, and we started talking about how all of this and what happened in June, and you notice this arrow, right? And so this was January through March, which prepared us to enter into the first part of that storm in the April energy, kind of transit through that energy, and, and like it or not, all of us, all of humanity, this entire planet is in this journey. So, it brings us right here, right now. 
That is the new diagram. <laughs> <laughs> now remember, what you focus on will determine the quality of your experience. Exactly. And have you ever sat in the passenger seat of a car and if you're looking... <laughs> and tried to drive. <laughs> if you're looking down the road, you have one kind of experience. If yeah. you're looking right down on the window and whoosh, 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 you're having another kind of experience. Yeah. This too is an example of how to call into you that calmness. Where are you setting your gaze? Exactly. So... You ready? Okay. Because it's all growing right now. So here we go. Kind of looks like an eye, doesn't it? Right? Well, we are coming out of, here is that eye that we've been in. And you'll notice what's happening is that there's an overlay. So because we were in the four by four, the storm was on the outer perimeter. And I just want to do this again really quickly so you can see that. You see the difference? The storm was on the outer perimeter, which gave us this kind of center of the storm energy. And what's happening now is the storm in its entirety is moving. So you see what's happening is it's like here are the two concentric circles and now they're moving. And the way they're moving is the storm, and this is July right here, okay? So this is that peace-filled center, but you'll notice that the storm, that this area got a little wider. Well, why is that? Because we're coming out of the container. We were in this very beautiful sacred container energy. Now we're in the container of the evolutionary journey. July is a journey. It is a journey that will evolve your consciousness. It is a journey that will take you to a whole new level of who you are. It is a journey that will rip off the veil. It is a journey that will say yes to whatever you are saying yes to. And remember that all beautiful journeys begin with a single step, do they not? And so the key is You've got three different options on how you're going to step into the July journey. <laughs> Stepping into the July journey for you. means carrying with you the confidence, the trust, and the capacity to know that you're okay. Yeah. <laughs> because anytime we embark on a journey, we need to have a certain sense of empowerment. I can do this. It doesn't mean we have to know all the details. What it means is that I have gathered into me a sense of trust in my divine process and I'm going to walk and I'm going to walk and I'm going to walk. I'm yeah. going to keep going. Yeah. Because regardless of the weather, meaning the outer world's turbulence, and believe me, there'll be plenty of turbulence in the coming months. <laughs> oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> regardless of that, what really counts is how are you doing? Are you able to keep going? And that's the key. So let's talk about preparation for July and the energy. So you'll notice that this was that calm center of the storm. And this right here is the transit we're entering into for July. Now remember, can you hold that, honey? Thanks. Remember that when July starts right here, you notice there's a portal. The, there is an actual portal through the storm. And I, I always describe this as the parting of the Red Sea, right? When all seems dark, when all seems fear-filled, when all seems like, what am I going to do? You have the capacity to part the waters. And so this right here, and you notice it gets bigger, right? But it emanated from that May-June energy. So gift yourself now with, I, I believe in myself. I trust myself. My divine connection is guiding me, obviously, or you wouldn't be watching this video. And so as you open up that energy of trust, this is the beginning of the journey. As you put one foot in front of the other, you will be creating this portal, which means, yes, July is the journey. Oh, my goodness gracious, our, our dog agrees with that. July is the journey. July is the opportunity to walk through, to transit. But you don't have to enter the storm unless you want to. And that's what these arrows are, that you can easily walk straight into the storm. And there are some of us that are in our warrior energy or in the soul energy, we're going to need to enter that storm. And mm -hmm. the, the reality is that this is not a failure. This is not anything that's wrong. But there's going to be an, you know, you see, we, we drew the storm as amplified waves of energy because on the geopolitical scene, on the journey of density, those that are, are really living the third dimensional experience, July is going to be a rich storm energy that is going to peak in August. 
And you'll notice that the August energy is like this arrow heading toward the end of the year. This is December 2017 here. There's going to be a lot happening in August. Remember, August opens up in the shadow of a retrograde that will go direct August 5th and will not come out of retrograde till September 5th and will actually stay in the shadow until September 19th. And we're going to talk a lot about that next month. So the key is, what are you doing in July for your journey? Put everything together. Take the steps. Say yes. Yes. Trust, trust, trust. You are creating the miracle opportunity to manifest everything in July and the storm energy that will seem very, you're going to see things that you never thought you'd see. You're going to hear things you never thought you would hear. You're going to feel like some things are totally upside down because Kali Yuga is really rich. It's like, it's like she has come forward and said, watch how powerful I am, right? And so Sri and I are, are going to be in July, uh, the whole month in India. And, and the reason we're going to be in India is we're on a sacred pilgrimage that we'll be building all through the high Himalayas, going up to Keternath, and then going down to Ujjain, where we're going to be um, offering a grand revelation for the planet at, at the end, near the end of the month, out of Ujjain. Then we'll be going back down into southern India. So we're literally, Sri and I will be traveling the entire Indian continent, uh, subcontinent, during July. And this energy was brought into us over a year ago, that this was where our July journey needed to be. Where does your July journey need to be? And we invite you to join us visually, virtually in India. Uh, go to sriankira.com. Right on the homepage, you'll see Virtual India with Sri and Kira. Click on it. Join us. The India journey is a journey of the reclamation of the divine spirit and connection to oneness for all of us. And then when we get back in August, we're going to be bringing all that energy from India over into the Andes when we return to Blue Mountain in August in Ecuador to the High Andes Mountains. But let's come back to your July journey. It takes a step. It takes a moment of saying, do I want to transit through the portal? May I part the waters and manifest, manifest, manifest? Or do I need to visit this one more time? Here's the key, my angels. If you come into visiting this with a conscious awareness of what this is, at any time, you can open the portal. So do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Fear is going to be the energy that they're going to try to grab you with. Distraction, fear, and, and be aware. We're living in this Kali Yuga, so there's this uh, ringing over here of oh, looky, the looky. The controversy, yeah. the distraction, the diversions, the fear. One of the wonderful things about the human being is we love contrast. We learn through, well, we con learn through contrast. contrast. And so when we bump into the chaos, it's a reminder, take a breath, yeah. restore the peace inside, and it'll radiate a bubble of protection, and you can find your way through anything. You really can. And remember this. The journey of July will lead us all to the adventure of August. How you transit July will set the stage through 2018. This is a big, big month, and you are ready, and you are amazing. And we would like to close this by reminding you, use the mantra of self-ascension. Use it often. Use it regularly. You just bring your hand to your heart, and we'll let Sri share it with us. Take a breath. So. I am here. I am ready. I am open. Guide me. I am here. I am ready. I am open. Guide me. I am here. I am ready. I am open. Guide me. And beloved ones, you are guided. Have an amazing July. Go back and listen to April, May, and June again. You're prepared. You're ready. Stick out your foot and have an amazing journey. Namaste. Namaste.